Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and um, this is actually my top 10 favorite um, Halloween Rustics pigments and this was actually a tag that was created by Super Makeup Addictive Ishii and uh, so she, she was you know she thought it would have been a nice initiative to celebrate Halloween Rustics second year anniversary so she came up with this tag and she tells all of us who use Halloween Rustics pigments to choose our top 10 now you will notice that i'm doing mine like super late um i couldn't i showed her i took a picture i sat and i write i wrote down all of the pigments that i loved like really really love from hello rustic and i think my list was like 30 something and that was before the b2s collection and i told her i'm like oh my gosh i'm not gonna be able to make my 10 then I narrowed it down to like 23 and then the B2S collection came out and I was like, oh. And then, you know, in dialogue I realized, oh my goodness, I still have not done this tag and I wanted to do it. So, it was so painstaking to actually choose 10 Halloween Rustics pigments because I love the pigments, I use them. I literally had to put myself um, to use other eyeshadow palettes etc just to stop using them hence why I'm doing a weekly basket and trying to start with some of my palettes so that um, I get use out of them because if you watch my project plan you would have noticed that I finished couple baggies and those baggies have quite a lot of pigments in them even though it's just quarter mm -hmm. teaspoon a lot of pigments are in those baggies so and I finished couple of them which was an accomplishment, yes. But anyhow, onto the video of Ramble for two minutes. My 10. Do I say top, top 10? I know some of my pigments are going to be a little crushed. But these are the ones that I noticed within recent that I am gravitating to a lot. Um, if I have to use a comfort color, if I'm in a rush, these are the colors I tend to grab. And they're all outside of a highlighting color. So I didn't choose any highlighting color because the one that was my favorite, which was Serenity, is finished. So I'm still trying to come to terms with some others that I'm using. To say that I love, love them, I wouldn't say that. So hence why you're not going to see a highlighting colors. But these are like what I call my comfort colors, the colors I would go to for quick looks, etc. So most of them are neutral, are the neutral side, with the one or two that are just like a little pop of color. So, um, let's get into it i also do not use these pigments only as fire shadows for some of them i even use them as highlighters blush lip colors nail polishes etc so my very first one would be bronzed and i know this maybe i don't know if you guys can see it so let me just turn it to the back this is what bronzed looks like and i have all mine in back all of mine in baggies because i prefer working with baggies than jars i always Hit the jar down, slips, fall, it's a mess. So I'm gonna swatch with my hand and I have not placed any sort of primer on um, my hand. So this is bronzed and this is what it looks like. If you guys can see. Next we have um, culture, which you guys would know is one of my favorite colors if you follow my YouTube channel. This is what culture looks like. It's an, it's an absolute favorite. It's a unique color. Bronze has like a uh, bronzish metallic color, whereas culture is like a green gold. It's like a really, I don't know, it's very hard. And I think it was in a couple of other favorites. And you know, we have hard time describing these two colors in particular, but they are amazing and super pigmented. Next is blushes, which comes from the Back to School collection. It's like a, a peachy kind of color, a peachy metallic color with that has more of a brown undertone. So this is blushes. And I really, really love brush, blushes as a lid color. And it looks very, quite natural on me. So this is what it looks like. If you guys can see and I use this like all over the lid and color in the crease and I'm good to go this is mellow it's like a reddish um, pinky shimmery color 
I also have used this a lot on my lips and um, as a nail polish. It's a red shimmery color. When you wet this color in particular, it foils amazingly. You see a really dynamic color. So that's mellow. And I need to move a little faster. This is actually Helena from, uh, I know that's the name of Helena Rustic, but yeah, that's, this is Helena Pigment. It's a nice um, kind of deep pink into like a tinge of burgundy. I use this as, it's one of my favorite lip colors. So I use this with a clear gloss. And depending on how much pigment I put with the gloss, it can also become, become opaque, very close to um, like a lipstick consistency. But it's like a really nice um, rose color. It looks very natural on me. And then this is Toto from the Back to School collection. It's like a really iridescent kind of purple with a pink undertone. Love this color. Look at that. It's like, oh my gosh, bomb purple. Love it. Next we have Recess, which is also part of the Back to School collection. Recess is actually like a very close to, no, it's not close. It's like a coppery, metallic sort of color. And again, this when foil looks amazing and it's super pigmented, it's more metallic in nature than a satin finish or a shimmer, shim, or with a shimmery on the tone. So that is Recess. Love this as a lid color also. It does not go on as neutral as um, blushes, but it still is a nice color. Next, sorry, is Bridal, sorry, Bridal, which is a very coppery, like an Indian coppery color. I don't know if you're able to see it. And a swatch of bridal sorry which is one of my favorite looks like if I really have to go to an Indian wedding this is definitely and look how pigmented that is this is definitely one of the colors I actually do wear I wear this with sometimes culture and bronze interchangeably if I want nice East Indian you know kind of makeup Bollywood style amazing so that's it there hope you guys are able to see it and my last two would be brisk which is like a rich chocolate brown. If you guys can see it. I love breasts. I th I've used our breasts already. This is my second breast. So I love it as a crease color. It's one of my go-to pigments for crease colors. And it's also very Bollywood. Um, I call it like my Bollywood crease, but I love it still. I use it quite often. It's a really rich, brown it's like a reddish brown so it goes, goes really well with bridal on the lid and then i would actually darken it so it's like a black shadow last last color is truth and i've had this is like my second baggie of truth and this was this i've had this for quite a while when the baggies were um larger in size but that doesn't mean you got different amount of, they were just larger in size so this is truth and truth is uh Oh my gosh, super pigmented. Truth is like a rich cranberry color. I also actually use this color for the crease. And this is Truth here, and this is Brisk right here. So to go over the colors with you, we have Bronze, Culture, Blushes, Mellow, Toto, and then, no, yes, Toto. Um, no, I'm sorry, this one is actually Helena. I'm so sorry All right so this is bronzed culture blushes mellow Helena then for the purple is Toto this is recess recess bridal brisk and truth so those are my 10 top Helena Rusty pigments as you can see they are super 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 pigmented and these are just applied dry um, I do suggest when using all pigments that you do use primer and the base for longer wear But I definitely recommend you go check these out. They're $5 for a baggie and $15 in a jar 
You also can get bundles to check out and stick out for your pigments. Thanks again, Ishii. Bye-bye.